Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Fire Rose. It does say that this is limited edition. It is in this limited edition holiday packaging. And I'm also reviewing the Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Copper Sunrise. So I'm going to show you how I created this eye look with the palette and then also show you the Eyes to Mesmerize all over the lid and into the crease as a one and done sort of eye look. So the eyeshadow palette retails for $53 and the Eyes to Mesmerize retails for $32. There are two shades. I only got one shade in Copper Sunrise, but there also is another shade called Sunset Rose. So you can get it as a kit. So you choose which eyes to mesmerize you want to go with the palette. And that is $81, so you do save a few dollars if you get it as the kit. Okay, so here I'm showing you the Eyes to Mesmerize in Copper Sunrise, just applied all over the lid and also blended into the crease as a really easy one and done eye look. And I really loved this. Now, this is the first time I've ever used this product. And I will say that it did crease a little bit, so it's not the most long wearing. Um, formula I've ever tried but I did really love how it looked okay so now moving into the eye look I'm wearing today so first I'm gonna add the prime shade this is really pretty so I'm adding the enhanced shade to my crease Now I'm going to add the smoke shade in the outer V. And now I'm adding the super pop shade. To the center of my lid. Wow, that completely transformed everything. I'm in love. It's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to take the first shade, um, the prime shade, and go on my lower lash line. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the smoke shade just on the outer, the very outer portion. Okay, so as far as my thoughts, so honestly, these are the first Charlotte Tilbury eye products I have tried. I have tried some of her complexion products and loved them. And when I saw this quad, the color story just really spoke to me. I l absolutely love the colors. So I decided to try it and I'm so happy that I did because I absolutely love this. I love the colors. I love the eyeshadow formula. Um, as far as the eyes to mesmerize in the Copper Sunrise, I will say that I thought it was beautiful. I loved how easily I could apply it to the lid and then also blend it out into the crease and have a really fast look just with one eye product. Um, the only thing is that this only lasts for six months, so it only has a shelf life of six months. And I feel like it is a lot of product here um, for it to only have a shelf life of six months, and it is $32. In my opinion, I would not have more than one of these in my collection at a time because of that. Um, because it only lasts six months, and even if I use this every day for six months, I don't know if I would go through it. I do see myself reaching for this often. I think I will reach for this as a very quick everyday eye look. Um, I will say that it did crease by the end of the day and it faded a bit by the end of the day. So it's definitely not the most long wearing formula, but it did look very beautiful. I loved it. I want to experiment with it more and try to use uh, different primers, maybe try to put a powder down first 
and see how that works. Um, but in the demo, I had primer on this eye and no primer on this eye. So, um, and they both creased, I would say, about the same and faded about the same. So I did use the MAC primer and soft ochre, maybe using something that dries down a little bit more or maybe applying a powder first would help. But I will say, yeah, I really love this but wouldn't have more than one in my collection because of the short shelf life and also because it creases a bit. Now as far as the Fire Rose palette, I absolutely loved this. The Super Pop shade is just outstanding. I know that a lot of people have said that her pop shades are a lot of times kind of dry. Um, and this is a new formula and I really loved this. Now I haven't tried her previous formulas so I don't have, I can't really make the comparison myself but I will say that this Super Pop formula is very nice, sort of um, a beautiful finish, just glides on it very easily, not chunky at all, no fallout. So in contrast to the previous shades, Super Pop shade actually contains dimethicone which is really going to help the product apply smoothly um, and not chunky. And the shelf life of this is 18 months. So I definitely feel like for me this is worth it because I see myself reaching for this a lot. I like that it lasts for 18 months. So again, this is the first time I've tried Charlotte Tilbury eye products. But I'm going to link two YouTubers down below that I think just do a phenomenal job of product reviews and also did a nice job of reviewing this palette and those two YouTubers are Mel Thompson and Tara Lynn. Um, they both have used a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products and talked about the difference between this one versus the previous quads and also showed swatch comparisons. So if you're someone who owns a lot of Charlotte Tilbury and you're trying to decide if you want to add this to your collection, definitely check out their videos because they do a really nice job of comparing this to other Charlotte Tilbury products that they already own. Um, but again, this was my first time trying out a Charlotte Tilbury eye product, and I'm absolutely in love. I'm so happy I got this. I definitely am going to be reaching for this constantly um, throughout the holiday season. This is the kind of eye look I like year-round, to be honest. So I just see this as being something that I'm so happy to have in my collection. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.